Hi. So it is 11.15 at night. I am going to share with you my favorite things. I get some questions on these things and I'm not doing anything else so I thought that I would do this. And so I'm gonna do like my skincare favorites and like my makeup favorites maybe. I don't know, I've like collected some things and I'm gonna like try to roll with it. So I guess first I could do makeup stuff. I don't really know how to do that. I've never like really done, I've never done this obviously. But I get a lot of questions about my skin and my makeup. And I get a lot of people who say that my skin looks glowy and I think that's really nice. Um, thank you for that. I feel like I do my makeup so that it, okay my hair like, gosh, whatever. I like don't like my hair touching my face, but then I don't like how it looks like this. So I don't, I don't wear a lot of face makeup. I just, and I've done this in a video before, but this is the makeup that I use. It's the Your Skin But Better It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. Color correcting, full coverage, anti-aging, hydrating serum. It's SPF 50. Specifically, this one is in neutral medium. I like it because you don't have to put a lot on for it to like spread out. I put it on with a beauty blender. I feel like it just like looks very even, very glowy. Um, it doesn't, like it looks like I'm wearing makeup, but it's not like cakey or heavy, I feel like. And even in person, I feel like it doesn't look cakey or heavy, hopefully. It doesn't make me break out. It feels really lightweight. It honestly kind of just feels like you have moisturizer on your face. Um, and I'm a big fan of moisturizer. I do not like my face feeling dry or like crackly <laughs> or anything like that. So would recommend this. And I like that it has SPF in it. So at work, I do not wear makeup. I don't wear this to work because I don't wear makeup to work. I don't wear mascara, I don't wear anything. But what I do wear, my mom just got me this. It's just a sample, but I'm gonna buy this in the full bottle because I really like it. It's the Super Goop um, Glow Screen. It's SPF 40. It even has a little bit of a tint. Um, Again, this is the free sample, but I really like this because again, it's super lightweight and it feels just like lotion. It doesn't feel like sunscreen. And so I wear a mask at work because I work out of school and you know, it doesn't like come off in your mask. It doesn't like, you know, when you take your mask off, it doesn't look like you are like missing a layer of makeup. It, it's not makeup, but it has a tint. So it kind of like helps you out. If you need a tin, yeah. Another makeup thing that I like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like out of breath. This is what I've been wearing on my lips. Um, it's Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. I don't know like the exact name, but it's lip gloss. Color is Pillow Talk. Before I put this on though, I put on the lip liner also in Pillow Talk. This one is Lip Chi Reshape Resize, Resize, <laughs> I can't read. This one's in Pillow Talk and then I think I have one that's darker also that's like Pillow Talk Medium or something like that. But so then I wear these together. I really like this color for myself and my skin. I feel like it looks good. This light's like driving me nuts. I feel like it changed color. Anyway. More so than the color, I like the way it feels on my lips. It stays on, it doesn't like rub off, it doesn't feel goopy or, like I feel like some lip glosses feel really sticky or like gross, I don't know. So I like these. It was kind of expensive in my opinion. Like this is definitely more than I would usually spend on lip products. However, I do really like it. I would buy it again. I would recommend this. Another makeup thing. This I've been using for my eyebrows. I have a really hard time with my eyebrows. I don't know why because they're like very basic eyebrows. They're different shapes though, like in the front. I think it's this one that has like less hair in the front than this one. And so it's hard to make them look even enough. This is called Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. It comes like one side is like you know, like the brushy thing, and then the other side is like the pencil. But the shape is like, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there. 
I just do like the under and then I brush it up and I just feel like it disperses better than a lot of things that I've used. And then my mascara. <laughs> I get questions on my mascara. Right now it's kind of clumpy because I'm at the very end of my tube. I actually just bought a new one at Ralph's. This is like $10. CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. It's not waterproof, which I prefer because waterproof, I feel like it kind of ruins my eyelashes sometimes because when I take it off, I'm too like aggressive taking it off. Probably not everyone has that problem, but I don't buy makeup remover. So it's hard to take it off if you don't have a makeup remover. I really like this and it's cheap. I've used more expensive mascaras and to me, I've just never found an expensive mascara that I felt was like worth spending more. This is probably like my fourth tube that I've bought of this one because I really like it and I like how it looks. Random kind of, but hair. <laughs> um. I feel like I'm not really one to talk about my hair just because like, I have some issues about it or with it. I didn't do my hair today, so just don't look at it right now. But this is my favorite hair curler if you ever curl your hair. Um, it's the Nero. I think it's by Paul Mitchell. I'll try to link as much as I can find, but I'm pretty sure this is Paul Mitchell, but it's the Nero hair curler. Um, you can adjust the temperature and my hair, when I do this, it will stay for like three days, even with brushing it. Even with brushing my hair, it'll stay for like three days if I don't wash my hair for three days. My roommate, Kaylee, actually had this um, and I bought it because I would borrow her hair curler because I loved it so much and then I bought it, so. Okay, moving on to bath skincare favorites. Just as like a random thing, when I get a pimple um, or like a zit, I think Dylan threw the box away, or maybe I threw the box away, but it's by Hero, I'm assuming, because that's what it says, but they're just like these little, can you see that? They're just like these little patches, you put them on your pimples, and okay, on TikTok, I remember seeing these videos where people would put the band-aids on their face, and they'd rip them off, and there'd be like a white spot on the band-aid. These are basically that. Next, these. I love these. If you do not use these, you're like sleeping on greatness. I feel like I didn't use that term, terminology correctly, but these make my makeup go on so much better. These make my skin so soft. It removes like the dead skin. It removes like the, what's it called? Like peach fuzz baby hair. They're just like, I really like these. I probably use these like once every two weeks. As long as you don't have like open pimples or like, you know, really good. You just like move it down, move it up, whatever. But as long as you don't go like this, then you'll cut yourself. I have cut myself before, which isn't a big deal. It's not like I'm like gushing out blood, but you know, no one wants to cut their face. It takes me like five minutes to do my whole face. Um, yeah. Another thing that I use to exfoliate, scrub gloves. You put them on when you're in the shower or even just washing your face in the sink. I use these to scrub my face. I use these to scrub my body, especially before I shave. I exfoliate using these like on my body and like it gives you the best shave because I don't know. It's just like it exfoliates, but it's not harsh. It doesn't like break or damage your skin barrier. You can get these at Target, CVS. I literally went to Ralph's to get my mascara and they had these here or there. They had them at Ralph's. Um, Amazon, I buy them in bulk. Like I have so many of these. I love them. My face wash, I've talked about this before also, but the Panoxyl, it's like all crumpled up because I've used it a lot, but, so this face wash is amazing. It's 4% benzoyl or benzoyl peroxide, and the consistency, if you haven't used it or seen it before, it's creamy. So to conclude, these plus this, it's like it exfoliates your face without like 
being too much. I think that's all I really had that was like, that I could think of that was like my favorite things. Obviously I use other things too, but those are like my top things that I could think of. On a side note, this isn't skincare or anything, but these are some books that I read. Um, <laughs> Not recently, like a year ago. This one's called The Highly Sensitive Person. Um, I am a highly sensitive person and this book kind of helped me to understand myself more. And ideally every single person in my life would read this book to help understand me more as well. <laughs> so It's not like a fiction book, it's like a psychology, I guess you would maybe call it. The author um, is a psychotherapist, so if you're into that. Also this book, it's called The Self-Love Experiment, 15 Principles for Becoming More Kind, Compassionate, and Accepting of Yourself. Oh, I have another one too. Maybe I'll do that in a different time. I don't need to do a full book club meeting right now, but this book is good if you struggle with maybe like, you know, self-love or, you know, like loving your body type of thing. It was really good, it was really well written, I thought. I couldn't relate to some of the things, but overall, if you you know have the time and if that's something that you feel like you, you know, wanna read about or need help with type of situation, you should read it. I have a lot of books that I like and I have a lot of books that I have bought and haven't read yet and I actually just got one in the mail today um, that I'm excited to read so um, if you guys read then let me know and then I'll talk about that but otherwise I'll just keep that to myself <laughs> well I think that's it hope you enjoyed also let me know if there's like other things that I should be like talking about on here because I don't really know what I should be talking about. Um, so far I've just like kind of, you know, yeah. Okay, bye. Also, side note, I went to the dollar store today and I bought so much stuff. I bought 42 things for $42. If you don't go to the dollar store, you need to because they have so many things like that you would buy at the normal store and it'd be way more money. So just a little tip.